Happy New Year, everyone. 2025 is finally here. And man, oh man, am I excited. Um, I'm also excited to share something uh, special with you. So this is not just another, you know, random update video. This is the start uh, officially on January 1st, 2025 of a daily uh, devlog series for System Sculpt AI. So I'm making a big commitment this year. Uh, every single day, I'll be sharing the inside story of System Sculpt's development through these devlog videos. So no filters, no rehearsals, just, you know, real development, real challenges, real solutions. Um, so, you know, you might be thinking why, you know, why devlogs, right? And, uh, you know, the thing is, System Sculpt has evolved into something much bigger than I initially imagined. You know, it's not just an AI, you know, chat plugin anymore. It's becoming a, a much more, you know, complete um, knowledge management system, you know, to, to be quite frank with you. And so, you know, great tools aren't just built in isolation, in my opinion. They're built with, you know, community feedback, real world testing, constant iteration. That's why I am opening up, you know, an entire new development process to you. Uh, the community. And so today's focus really is just to show you the new beta version of everything. Right now, you know, up until now, we've been in alpha, really. And so with this new beta version, I think, um, especially for this specific video, I think the most um, exciting change to System Sculpt is our completely redesigned chat interface. So now, I think, you know, this is probably the biggest game changer for a lot of people. Um, you're not limited to just one sidebar chat anymore. You know, watch this. I can open up uh, a bunch of chat views, as many as I want, and they are consistent. So if I reload my um, Obsidian, they, you know, remain consistent, just as if you had a note opened up, which is really nice. And so another thing I can do is I can open up multiple um, chat views side by side, as you can see, which is also really nice. I can have a different model set up here. So I can use, for example, uh, you know, 40, which I already had selected, and then let's say 40 mini. And then I can, you know, test that, you know, test that out. So, you know, this is just the beginning, like I said, just a nice, fresh um, update, new year, you know, new year, new me type of, you know, vibe. Um, first, we have uh, open chat history file in these actions. Um, you know, this lets you view the raw markdown file of a chat. So if I, you know, do a chat, hey, how are you? Um, you know, it'll do the thinking process, boom, and then now, boom, we have the little chat file. So this is just for your, you know, organizational purposes, not really anything you'll be touching much. And then, you know, we have copy chat to clipboard, which uh, let me show you what that really does. This is if you want to move your chat from System Sculpt AI to, let's say, ChatGPT. So you'll have that entire, um, you know, thing. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just kind of glossing over things right now. So yeah, you, you have delete this chat. Um, let me let me quickly show you two more really powerful things. So uh, first is our model selection system. Now, of course, this is limited right now to the System Sculpt API. So what that really is, and again, I'm going to dive into these subjects in much more depth later on. Um, in one click, you know, you can switch between any available AI model. And so I've made nice little explanations as to when you will want to use specific uh, models, when not to. Um, obviously, local is going to be supported, both Olama and LM Studio, as well as custom solutions. So you can hook up any API, really, um, and, and you know it'll work. And then finally, the system prompt modal. Um, you can think of that as like your chat's personality settings, right? Um, you have some default ones. Uh, or you can create your own. And so, you know, here I just have a few test out, um, you know, um, system prompts. So that's really nice. And yeah, you can also set like a context token limit. So that's really nice. But anyway, um, not to dive too deep into any of this. Let me exit this out because that's a little too confusing. Um, yeah, we'll explore each of these components in detail in future videos. But I just, I really wanted to show you just how much flexibility and power you have at your fingertips now. I mean, from you know, right click and boom, convert to markdown, or being able to right click and transcribe audio, or you know, make it into a timestamp. Those are really nice features, and um, yeah, uh, this is where you come in. So in the comments below, and you know, of course on Patreon and everywhere else in the Discord, especially, uh, I want to hear your thoughts. How do you use the chat interface? Do you use it at all? Um, 
If not, what do you use instead? I know a lot of people use system prompts just within their notes, so that's really interesting. Um, what features would make your workflow better? Uh, what should I focus on next? So, you know, these types of questions, if, if you could answer them for me, that'd be great. And uh, your feedback, obviously, is um, is directly influencing, you know, tomorrow's development, right? And so, and in future videos in the series as well. So, uh, you know, with that all being said, for tomorrow, currently, what I have planned is uh, basically a dive into the context selection system. So, you know, as I was showing you here, um, ranging from being able to see nice previews, um, let's say, you know, PDF previews as well. Uh, it's it's just, you know, a lot to get into, and I don't want to try and fit everything into one, you know, huge video. That's the whole point of uh, this being a day-to-day -day thing, right? And so, yeah, with that all being said, um, if you want to be part of this journey, of course, uh, hit the subscribe and notification bell. And then, you know, obviously together, we are going to build amazing things in 2025. So yeah, thank you for being here on day one. Leave your thoughts below, as I said, and I will see you tomorrow for another day of building System Sculpt. So yeah, happy new year again, everyone. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow.